Greetings. This is my Mandelbrot generator project for the JavaScript class I'm taking at Harvard Extension School. Uh, I'm going to very briefly show you what uh, the application can do. I'm not going to go too much into detail about what the Mandelbrot set is. There's a lot of uh, information about this online. But suffice it to say that the Mandelbrot set is basically a set that reveals whether a particular point on the complex plane converges under a quadratic iteration law. Uh, I don't know if that's very clear, but uh, you could look it up. Uh, I just want to show you how this works. So this is the famous Mandelbrot set. Uh, when you click on a part of the Mandelbrot set with your uh, mouse, it basically zooms into that region based on the zoom scale factor that you want. So every time it's doubling because this zoom scale factor is right now 2. Uh, if I wanted to increase the uh, zoom scale factor, I could increase it or decrease it uh, with the buttons here. So now I'm going to uh, uh, zoom 10 times into a particular region. And here you can see all kinds of intricate structures, uh, structures within structures. Uh, and then you could also reset the Mandelbrot set with this button. Uh, let's actually zoom into this region of the Mandelbrot set, which is very interesting. It's at the edge, outer edge. And as you zoom into that, you're going to notice that there's another uh, mini uh, Mandelbrot set right there. So uh, you could reset and zoom at different parts of the Mandelbrot set in this fashion. Uh, this uh, was a fairly complex uh, code I had to write. I uh, always wanted to be able to do this, uh, the Mandelbrot set myself, so I had to do some research about the uh, uh, about uh, how to generate this mathematically. But uh, here we have a very simple HTML page uh, with the buttons, the the reset, zoom, increase, decrease, zoom buttons. Uh, and then the canvas and uh, the JavaScript that supports this uh, basically it's, uh, uh, adds event listeners to the mouse clicks so every time there is a click uh, it is interpreted as resetting the Mandelbrot set and zooming in uh, and also the buttons are given functionality to increase and decrease uh, uh, the, the, the zooming levels. Um, the hardest thing for me was actually this uh, Zoom Mandelbrot uh, set, uh, uh, Zoom Mandelbrot function. It's a very simple looking function, but the thing that I found hardest is this region right here, where there was an offset that I did not quite understand initially when you click on the canvas when you click on the canvas um, what happens is that there is an offset uh, the, the the X and Y values that you get uh, has to be actually translated by an offset that uh, I had to find out how to do that uh, to some uh, internet research uh, the other challenge was uh, in canvas uh, the uh, the zero comma zero coordinates is at the upper left corner right here, uh, and then as you go to the right, the x values increase. As you go down, the y values increase. But of course, uh, in a Mandelbrot set, uh, the complex uh, plane is uh, it has the x and y axes right at the center of the canvas meeting. So there had to be some kind of a transformation. I had to figure out how to do that. And uh, it's just this little looking function there. But again, this was one of my challenges, how to do that. The coloring scheme was completely not obvious how to do. Um, I had to get some help on that also looking at uh, some online resources, uh, especially that I learned a trick about how to color the boundary region a little bit whitish so that you can see uh, the boundary much better than uh, you would otherwise. Uh, overall, this was a very interesting uh, project for me and I really enjoyed uh, doing. 
I hope you'll have some good time playing with it. Thank you.